<laughs> Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. Today we're working with a gentleman with a beautiful rig. Look at how nice that blue is. We're installing two of the new SOK 12 volt, 206 amp hour plastics. He's working on pulling out right now his six volt golf cart batteries, interstates. What year are those? You know when you put these in? They don't even have the, uh, the uh, data stickers. But anyway, this is the compartment with all the electrical where the new SOKs are gonna go. He's got a beautiful Victron Multi Plus 3000 watt 12 volt with a class T fuse in the middle. So he's got a ton of solar on the roof. I'll show you guys that here in a minute, but man, is this gonna be a nice install. We're going to be using this uh, two wire entry grill and uh, these are on our website. I'll put a link in the description. And up here you can see he has some pretty big and nice split cell panels. And our plan is to put those uh, entry glands right up here on this back cap, drop the wires down through and get him some cables made for these solar panels. And for a charge controller, he's got the Victron Smart Solar MPVT 100 slash 50. Again, links for all this down in the description. Not you on camera. <laughs> so he's pulling out the load center right now because there's a cavity back there that gives us access for us to drop the PV wires uh, down the back cap uh, into like the engine bay. You can kind of see in there. You know, I can't take away the unboxing therapy. Got to make him uh, open his own Christmas gift here. What fun would it be without? <laughs> Even more fun, it's double box, double wrapping. <laughs> okay. Probably like this, right? Uh, it does, yeah. You may have to lift it up one more notch to, to get it back in there. Yep. A little squeezy. That is the only downside with the plastic ones versus the metal is they have those little screws yeah. that stick out. Okay, so the batteries are in here with the beautiful warranty serial trackers and customer service hotline right there on the front of the battery. Made some quick little one foot or so um, interconnect cables. Again, links in the description. And we are now going to replace the cables going to his um, Multi Plus One. This is a 3000 watt. He only had a four gauge wire, which is insufficient for this size inverter. So we're getting that upgraded and we'll go from there. All right, just getting in some more cables, new one aught cables for the inverter. You can see the batteries are just about wired up. Modified this uh, fuse here. It used to have these chair lugs on the end, but these are not rated for the fine strand battery cable. So instead, I took them off and we're gonna be using a uh, crimp on lug. You can see I used my hydraulic crimper. It even stamped in the, uh, the die size on the lug, so it's perfect. Going into the Multi Plus, we're gonna get some new uh, negative cables made and uh, chase this all the way back to the batteries. Okay, I'm barely trying to be a salesman, but he, he, he likes everything we have. So now we're gonna add a smart shunt, 500 amp, and uh, I'm gonna throw that in right here and I'm gonna run it down to the negative of the battery and that's where all of our uh, terminals are gonna go. Of course, we've gotta drill out our lugs for the smart shunt because it has some big old M10 uh, lugs or uh, bolts on it. All right, the smart shunt is in. Now I need to run a wire from that VBAT plus terminal to these uh, batteries and I'm gonna run from the aux terminal to the um, starting batteries here. Now I chose the smart shunt over like a BMV 712 because him having the Multi Plus 2 as well as the smart solar controller and in the future a second smart solar controller. Um, we're looking at possibly getting him the Serbo GX with the, uh, the display so that way he can monitor his full system all in one place. So uh, having the VE direct port on this smart shunt is optimal for that. Alrighty, it is late, he's got the engine running. We're all done, programmed, I got on the roof, did the solar, we had a nightmare fishing the wire. Here's the batteries. He's lugging out the old lead acid onto the dolly to go into the battery graveyard. And uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good here. We've got the smart shunt in, we've got the voltage sense wires to the starting batteries. 
his uh, boost relay is disconnected. It's not good to use that on lithium iron phosphate. He's going to be taking that out. So Smart Shunt's working great. It's showing like 9 amps. We've got the Class T Fears, his Multi Plus, and the Smart Solar MPPT. And he's got the wires right there that go up to the roof. And up here on the roof, he's got the entry glands that go to the solar panels. They're all down there. I'm not gonna go up there, it's late, I'm tired. But uh, yeah, he's gotta seal these down, but aside from that, that about completes this system. Hope you guys enjoyed, we'll see you in the next video. Later.